What's up, my YouTube family? Oh, man. So I just read somewhere where thousands and thousands of black women came together and raised all this money for Kamala Harris. Uh, <laughs> Do she even know what nationality she is? Because now, one while, whatever the gender was at the time, that's what race she was. At first, when she came on, she was black. You had all of these melanated women ski-weeding and, and at these sororities and all these different places and sister this and sister that. But then when it came where there was a discussion about Asians and their needs and all this, then she became Asian. So I'm just, I'm just wondering, you know, I mean, she might have all of these less, uh all of these necessities in her uh, her family, you know, might be some some Caucasian and and African. It might be a whole lot of stuff in there. But so is she gonna go and just pull into you know pull out of her her background whenever the the agenda the situation arises? I mean, is that how they gonna go? So what are you all buying into? You know, you're raising all these this money and everything for somebody that that's not even authentic. What's really going on? Now, when COVID hit in 2019, I don't know if you all were aware or not, you really just paid attention to what was going on. And the way I see it, COVID was all about to knock a bunch of people down. You had a lot of people starting businesses, a lot of melanated people starting businesses and stuff like that. A lot of good things were going on for melanated people at that time. And I always see these different events as a way to cripple the melanated people and to bring us down. Now, whether people know it or not, there were a lot of families, a lot of people that lost their businesses, lost their jobs, lost their homes, lost their apartments. And all these people went into hotels. These people are still working, struggling, trying to come out of these situations. They're not doing anything about this. We're not coming together to help one another. We should be raising money to help each other to come together and, and build our own businesses, banks, schools, hospitals, and all these different things instead of putting money into people that's not authentic. I'm sorry to say that, but that's just how I see it. She's not authentic. She don't even know who she is. She, she's somebody for every occasion. That's what she is. And people don't see that. You got people still struggling. I mean, still grinding, still struggling to get back to where they was. We still haven't saw the need to come together and help one another. We, we just don't see that yet. And I, I, I really don't understand this. Are we that lost? Are we that lost? Are we that far apart from consciousness? Are we vibrating that low? I saw men who had custody of their children that had lost out and had to go into uh, had to go into different facilities. Women and their children, uh, mates, you know, whether they were married or not, they were together. They lost together. You understand what I'm saying? They didn't separate. They lost together. They stayed together. They're still struggling to come back up. Some people have made and some haven't. But my thing is, is why is it that we would cling on to something that's not authentic? It is not like you don't see it. You see it. Do you care? This, this is not what the Most High wants for us. You need to know who you are. What it is that you're supposed to be doing. What's your job here? And you're not supposed to come here and get attached, especially to things that's authentic. You got a job to do. I suggest a lot of people, a lot of people 
do some soul searching and find out what it is that you really supposed to be doing here. Because if you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're going to see a whole lot of heartaches a lot of hard times. This is not what the Most High wants for us. We're supposed to be coming together. Even all through the Bible, it states, gather yourselves together. You're not supposed to be gathering together with the enemies, with people who hold you down, people who, who strive at putting you in jail and keeping you in jail. Putting you in these, these dungeons and, and, and leaving you there without a care in the world. That's my rant for today, y'all. I just hope, I hope every day that things work out for us, that we come together as a people. How much is it gonna take? How much is it gonna take for us to come together? What is it gonna take for us to come together? It's crazy. It's, it's really, really crazy. The things that's going on, the things that I see going on, man, it is so crazy. Why don't you read between the lines? Why can't you read these people and pay attention to what they're doing? <coughs> to even have Biden constantly around. Man, half the time don't even know where he is, who he is, or what he's supposed to be doing. Conversations, uh, um, whatever kind of union meeting or whatever it is that, that he's supposed to be having, turned into a, a, a gibber. I mean, sound like a, a child speaking. But this is who you all voted for. And I say you all, because yeah, because I, I, there's been nobody for me to vote for. For what? Even the Bible states that if you're gonna vote for somebody, vote for somebody from your own tribe, somebody who knows what you want, what you need, been where you been. Vote for what? This is also, I, and I just, I cannot believe that all these male native women came together and raised all this money for something that has nothing to do with them. You crazy if you think Kamala Harris is for you or gonna do anything for you. When she was in California, that was that was the, the, the biggest thing in life for her is to lock up melanated people and continuously lock them up for the hell of it. Y'all stand around and raise and raise all this money for these shape shifters. That's what I got shape shifted. One minute you this, next minute you that. You nothing but a shape. She ain't nothing but a shape shifter. Man, y'all go, y'all go, we're gonna have to do better. We're gonna have to do better, y'all. We're gonna have to do better. Alright, that's my rant for today. Cause I couldn't believe that when I heard that. Alright, y'all, y'all have a good day.